Hello everyone, my name is Gregory Bell and I am one of the lead TAs for Computer Science 128 here at Colorado School of Mines. In this video, we will be going over the course setup for macOS. Okay, so to get started, go to the course setup page on the canvas, and then we are going to download this setup.sh file right here. So I'm going to click the little download guy. Because it's my first time downloading a file uh, from elearning.mindstate.edu, Safari's popping up with a message. Um, I'm going to click Allow. We see that we have it downloaded. So now I'm going to go to Finder. And I know that my default downloads folder on my computer is my downloads folder, so I'm going to go to downloads. And I see that I have my setup.sh right here inside of my downloads folder. All right. So I'm going to open up a terminal by pressing command space and then typing terminal. Perfect. As you can see, I now have a terminal window. So I have my file right here in the downloads folder. So I'm going to type CD for change directory and then downloads. I'll get a little message from system preferences saying that terminal would like to access files in my downloads folder. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, I have my setup.sh file in this downloads folder. Perfect. So now we are going to run this file. So we can do that by typing zsh, then setup.sh. And again, if that's a little hard to see, that is a zsh, then a space, setup.sh. Okay. We get a little message right here saying that the script installs brew, the macOS package manager, Python, and VS Code. You'll be asked for your password to install brew. There won't be any output when you enter it, but don't worry. Press any key to start installation. So I'm going to press the enter key. So the first thing it's going to do is check to see if brew has already been installed on this computer. It has not been because this is my first time doing this. So I'm going to type my password. As you can see, as I type my password, nothing was outputted to the console, but that's fine. My password still got entered. So now I'm going to press enter. Okay. I get a message saying that the X line, Xcode command line tools will be installed. I'm going to press enter. And it's going to start to install the Xcode command line tools. After it does that, it's going to then install brew. And then after it does that, it's going to install Python and the other packages that we need. Alrighty, so now that the Xcode command line tools have been installed, the script is now going to actually install brew. Also known as homebrew if you are paying, if you're familiar with the application. Alright, now that brew is installed, Python 3.11 will be installed. Alright, and now that Python is installed, matplotlib, one of the course packages, will now will be installed. Matplotlib is being installed from pip, which is the Python package manager. A package, if you're not familiar, is essentially a bunch of code that someone else has written that they have enabled us to use. After the course packages, um, namely matplotlib, have been installed, the autograder packages will be installed. And then now that the autograder packages have been installed, uh, VS Code will be installed. It is important to note that if you have already installed VS Code, and the script detects that VS Code has not been installed, um, Brew will simply just not install VS Code. Uh, this happens because the terminal is unable to access your VS Code installation, but it's nothing to be concerned with. Now finally, now that VS Code is installed, um, the Python extension for VS Code will be at installed. That's what this installing extension mspython.python is right here. Perfect. We get this message saying that course setup is complete. 
So I'm going to close out of the terminal with my command Q key. And then I'm going to attempt to open up VS Code. So I'm going to type um, code, which is the name of the application. And I see that VS Code has been installed. We also see that the two extensions uh, for Python and then PyLance uh, have been installed as well. If you have any questions about the setup procedure, feel free to email me at gjbell at minds.edu or email any of your instructors. Feel free to also ask for help during office hours as we have office hours from basically from 9 to 9, basically all day during the week. Thank you.